Hello, I'm Kirill Stadi, a Managing Director for Data and Analytics at Alticsoft. And today, we are starting a new series of videos dedicated to artificial intelligence and machine learning practical use cases. We'll talk about such things as process automation, personalization, demand and sales forecasting, fraud detection, decision support systems, and many more. In this particular video, we'll touch on robotic process automation and its branch, intelligent automation, which applies AI and machine learning. Let's begin. Every business has some repetitive manual processes. It even sounds boring, let alone the process itself. It may also take quite a lot of human time and resources. It's likely that most of you found yourself in this situation before. You do simple, yet crushingly monotonous work. You question your mere existence and you think to yourself, why can't this be done automatically? So, robotic process automation is a strategy to let bots do all the repetitive work. It helps save human resources and time and redirect them to more creative tasks or train people to do more complex things. Let's take insurance as an example. This industry is notorious for routine work with such tasks as consolidation of records into personal insurance profiles, scanning and digitizing physical documents, claims analysis, and many more. You can handle all this with RPA. So, how does RPA work? Normally, what we understand by RPA is running software bots that mimic human actions and complete repetitive tasks inside spreadsheets, forms, or dashboards. While hardware robots step in to take manual labor, RPA bots help office workers. It's common that RPA extends the features of legacy software systems which are already in use by organizations. Or such systems may automate user actions that span across several of those legacy systems. Say you need to enter the same patient records into a medical billing system, hospital management system, and insurance software. And sometimes you can't integrate them with APIs, either because they are legacy or it's just not worth it. But with RPA, you can replace three different interfaces with a single one and just fill in the form once. So, if a company is looking for a way to redevelop or modernize legacy software, but the budget estimates are over the top, RPA may be the answer. What you should understand about RPA is that a lot of automation is out there on the shelf. There are three key players, Automation Anywhere, UiPath, and Blue Prism. All three allow you to deploy bots over software systems of a company. They have four main things in common. First, the platform lets you create bots with programming languages or visual scripting. Second, they have orchestration systems. They help operate multiple bots, configure new or retire the old ones. All platforms have marketplaces with various ready-built bots for sale that do hundreds of standard tasks. For instance, these may be simple data entry robots. They would either scan documents and parse their content, or they would recognize images. Another large group is chatbots that help simplify customer support operations. And finally, you'll find integration tools to connect the RPA with the corporate programs like SAP or Salesforce. So, existing RPA tools can automate more than 50% of the common routine tasks of many companies. And some of those bots and systems have machine learning under the hood. But what about automating complex tasks and decision-making? Is it possible to automate such things? Well, yes. Routine and primitive tasks are pretty much a solved case. The new endeavor is to handle cognitive tasks requiring any type of decision-making. Let's get back to insurance, our main sources of cases today. Here, an example of such a task would be, say, evaluating vehicle damage. Usually, repair shops and claims adjusters examine the car. After that, they file their reports. And then, the insurance provider sometimes spend weeks to make sure that the estimate is correct. Or you could use a computer vision system instead. It would estimate the cost based on several damaged photos from the spot. That's the way the Tractable app works. It lets you upload several photos, and then it would automatically evaluate the damage. This works for cases when decision-making isn't that business-specific. You can get such a system off the shelf which is what one of the leading insurance companies, AGS, actually does. It uses tractable with vehicle claims. The bad news is most decision-making is very business-specific. Let's take, for instance, claims adjudication, which is when you pay or deny insurance after checking the claims. Every insurance provider has their own procedures, 
and it gets harder to just go and grab some bot for subscription. The good news is, there is a lot of room for automation. Intelligent systems may verify data, run fraud detection, and eventually make their own decisions. With these types of tasks, you can either fully delegate decision-making to a bot, or use a bot to support your decisions. It will suggest some action, but a human will make the final choice. And like I said, you need machine learning models for these bots, which in turn requires a team of machine learning engineers and data scientists. So how do intelligent automation systems work? Decision support systems are learning from historical data the track record of decisions made by humans. You must have hundreds or even thousands of decisions in your historical records. After training on those decisions, the machine will provide suggestions for new cases. Trained models always have an accuracy parameter. Basically, the portion of right decisions put against the wrong ones. State-of-the-art machine learning systems can reach the accuracy of 98 or 99%. But depending on data quality, you may as well expect 70 to 90% of accuracy. Another important parameter is the confidence score. It says how sure the model is that the given prediction is correct. Based on this confidence, you can set up a threshold for the cases, which will be fully delegated to a machine. Say, all decisions with the confidence score of 0.97 or higher are automated. Those cases that fall below the threshold get redirected to humans by default. What's important here is that the machine can learn from all the decisions made by humans and eventually get trained to solve similar cases by itself. So the system can evolve over time and can handle more and more complex cases and save more human time and effort. Such decision support systems are the next steps into the future. Gartner predicts that 69% of decision-making tasks will be fully automated by 2024. But keep in mind, this doesn't work for all companies on the market. This estimate is for the leaders. If you want to become a leader, you must start thinking about it today. So, what's the recipe for building such systems? What's the recipe for intelligent RPA bots to drive your business ahead? How to approach intelligent automation? First, you should have historical data about decisions made in the past. Usually, you would need thousands of records. Then, you have to be ready to invest in research and development, into experiments, Building and training machine learning models needs time and quality data scientists. Another thing I would mention is that intelligent automation also requires the company to engage. Key decision makers and key stakeholders must provide insights and actively interact with data science team. On the bright side, you can start using some RPA platform right now to automate simple tasks. So you would have the ecosystem ready to integrate more complex bots, which you'll get as a result of the experiments. And finally, once you have this RPA platform in place, and when you have these machine learning models developed and tested on real data, you can roll them out to your RPA system as a new custom-made bot. Let's sum up. Robotic process automation helps deal with repetitive manual tasks, but not only those. It can also address cognitive tasks that require decision-making, and this is the spot where all the innovation is happening right now. The trick to tapping into those possibilities is to customize the system to your business needs. Off-the-shelf decision support systems are not going to be business-specific. You're probably not going to find a pre-trained decision support bot to fit your business. So consider this more of an R&D experience requiring money, time, and effort. It's kind of like a dance, with you on the business side of things and a data science team taking care of research and implementation. You know, it takes two to tango. With the right team and the right attitude, it's not as hard as it sounds. And it's totally worth it. All right. Thank you for watching. Leave your comments and questions in the comment section below. The next time we'll talk about personalization. Stay tuned.